suspicions run high in Cascade County this morning as a Great Falls man accused of rape was sentenced. But Bradley Goodell won't serve any time. MTN's Margaret DeMarco was in the courtroom and explains. This court has a duty to uphold, enforce, and defend the U.S. and the Montana constitutions. Eighth Judicial District Court Judge Elizabeth Best started the sentencing hearing of Bradley Goodell with some remarks. Best broke down the decisions and the responsibility the court has in this case. After the Attorney General's office took over, it added charges. Goodell's defense requested that the cases be severed and Judge Best granted this. In response to another motion, the court was then required to consider the rape shield law. The rape shield law limits a defendant's ability to introduce evidence or cross-examine rape victims about their past sexual behavior. They were advised that there are instances when rape shield can be pierced. However, it was were... not pierced, Ms. Coconar. It was not pierced. It was balanced. As the proceedings went on, Judge Best stated the prosecutors did not want to take responsibility for the role they played in this case. We met with the victims and told them the true status of this case in a fair, measured, disciplined way like pros. Judge Best did not agree and stated the sentencing memorandum was pointing blame at the court. The memorandum states that due to the judge's rulings, a jury would not hear about a pattern of abuse, and the jury would hear about graphic details of the victim's sexual history. Decisions were made outside of the courtroom for whatever reason by both parties for um, decision making that I made uh, by following the law. Prosecutors say they wanted the memorandum to be very factual as they are putting the document together for the court. I have never told them that this was an unfair process. I told them what the rulings were and what that would look like in a trial. That's how and whatever they came to you with today is what they came up with. Both sides agree a former prosecutor of the Attorney General's office set the tone for this case early on. In Great Falls, Margaret DeMarco, MTN News. Now, Goodell was given a 10-year sentence with all suspended for one count of criminal endangerment.